Today, we are going to be going over how to utilize stop losses when trading options, as well as how to set them automatically with Thinkorswim. Towards the end of the video, I will be sharing a tip that I personally use as well. Now, I personally use mental stop losses instead of automatic stop losses. Automatic stop losses are good if you're unable to control your emotions and they will allow you to not lose more than you planned on to lose on that trade. The only downside is when trading options, it does not always go to the same exact price per contract. They will lose value as time goes on throughout the day. So let me show you an example of what I mean. So what we have here is SPY and we also have the contract price himself. Here is SPY, here's the contract prices. For example, let's say we entered into calls at this candle and our stop loss is a low of this, right? So the low of this is 410.26. Let's just mark this out right here. Let's say your stop loss is under this candle's low, right? So it's that 410.26. So the contracts themselves, the low is 171. So let's just round it down to 170. So your stop loss is going to be 170. While looking at the contract premiums, you guys can see that it ran up and ran back down, right? The low of this candle is 410.3. So it still did not meet our expectations when we're about to sell. We're selling when price goes under 410.26, which is the candle low right here. Candle price, 410.3. You guys can see that price did not go under that point to where we're selling. Now, the contract price gives us a little bit of a different story. You guys can see about 20 minutes later, the candle low of this is 1.66. So your stop loss, if your hard stop loss is 1.7, your stop loss would have hit even though price did not go under the level of that 410.26, right? So price did not go under that new low and we still would have got stopped out because the contracts went under where we bought it at. The contracts went under where our stop loss would have been. Our stop loss would have been 1.7 if you guys are looking at the contract prices, it would have hit even though price did not go under the candle low. Ouch. This is again one example as to why I watched the price and wait for it to go under that price instead of using an automatic stop loss. I'll give you guys another example right here. You guys can see if we were in calls here, for example, right? You guys can see the high of this is 411.73. You guys can see the high of this is 2.51 you guys can see that once we make a new high we came above that new high look at this candle right here the candles high of this one is only 2.48 so even though we made a new high a day the price of the contract still did not make that new high a day until another whole minute later after we were already above that high a day so it took a whole another minute for spy to reach that new price of the contracts than it was previously now, this is why I don't use automatic stop losses, but there is a way that you could set it to where you could have a conditional order. If a stock hits a certain price, let's say, for example, the stock hits 410.26 and goes under that, the contracts will sell when the stock price hits a certain point. Those are called conditional orders. They take way too long to set up. When you're in a trade, that is the last thing you want to be looking at. You want to be looking at price and price action itself. You don't want to be doing all that when you're trying to get in. So what a lot of people do is they head on to their active trader and set what is called an OCO bracket. All right, so now that we have the active trader, here is exactly how you could set an automatic stop loss that will help you a lot more than anything that I just showed you. You guys can go to TRG with two brackets or with one bracket. I'll do one bracket for this example. Now for this, let's say for example, you buy 20 contracts, right? This will set your stop loss at the same exact time that you get in. So let's set it to 10%, right? So let's say you want to take a 10% stop loss, make sure this is in percentages. So now if you buy it at the same exact time, your stop loss will be set automatically, right? So if you buy 20 contracts at right here, your stop loss is going to be set minus 10%. You guys can see this on the active trader. It's going to show up right here. You hover over it. That's exactly where your stop loss is going to be as soon as you enter. So if I hit buy market, this is exactly what's going to happen is they'll buy the 20 contracts and then it will set an automatic stop loss 10% under. Now, what you can do and what I see a lot of people doing is they'll set a trail stop loss, right? And let's set this 5%. 
So they'll set a 5% trailing stop loss, which means essentially if I buy it right now, my stop loss is going to be set automatically 5% under. But what's going to happen is as price is coming up, the trailing stop loss will also come up 5% to where the price is at. If it goes to 130, it's going to be 5% under that automatically. And then it would automatically sell without you doing anything, right? All you do is buy market and then What's going to happen is it's going to automatically set the 5% stop loss. And then if it comes up, see how it's coming up right now? It would literally trail it until it stops you out. I see a lot of people utilizing this as well, especially for scalping. This will help you if you can't handle getting out and being disciplined while in the trade. Me personally, I do a mental stop loss because I want full control over the trade. I'm at a point where I could emotionally handle the trade and get out when I want to get out, when my plan tells me to get out. If I say I'm getting out at 410, I'll automatically hit that sell market button. What a lot of people can't do is they can't sell it when it gets to that specific point because they don't want to be wrong in the trade and they don't like taking losses. If that is you, TRG with bracket might be the way to go just because, again, this will automatically set you up with a stop loss as soon as you get in and you could even have a trailing stop loss. So as price is going up, it just trails right behind with the contract price itself which i think is pretty cool um this is why i like thinkorswim i personally don't use this but if this is you and you want to use this go ahead i know a lot of people that do use this for option trading like scalping they'll set a negative five percent stop loss if it hits there they're out right and then they'll cancel it and then sell it automatically if it gets to a specific point that they want if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys leave a like subscribe comment down below if you guys like these types of videos I hope this helped you guys. Other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.